Mr Agnew. Thank you. Well, here we go again. Renewable energy. Let, let's look at what actually happens in my country. A farmer plants maize for, as an energy crop. The land has to be ploughed. Well, we talked about the problems that can have in our last debate. Then it has to have fertiliser applied to it. That requires fossil fuel energy. Then there's the, the, um, the, the cultivation, the ploughing. They do the same thing. Then there's the drilling operation. Then there's the harvesting with a multi-chop forage harvester that soaks up diesel. Then you've got the transport to somewhere maybe 30 miles away. In some cases, it can take up to six times as much energy to produce this as the energy it, 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 that it releases. It is utter madness, and yet we've got to go further and further down this route, it seems. And there's a budget problem here as well. It, it's going to cost extraordinarily about a trillion euros between 2015 to 2030 just to invest in renewable e electricity. This is an enormous amount of money at a time where member states are struggling with their budgets. Do they really need to go down this route? And what's it all about anyway to save CO2, the gas that makes crops grow? Finally, of course, no, not quite finally, there's a subsidiarity point here. Is this really fully within the EU's competence? I would argue that it isn't. The member states have, have an, should have much more of an input here. And finally, we've got a, a new noun, Europeanisation, from the verb to Europeanise, which is something that's come in perhaps in the, in, since the, the, the 2000 millennium. Would anyone like to tell me exactly what it means? Thank you.